Hi everybody, I'm Alyssa, you already know all of this. Um, a lot of people have been asking me how I do my fade effect, and um, my one of my best friends, Krista, taught me how to do it, but a lot of other people have been asking, and everyone's been wanting me to put a new makeup tutorial up on YouTube anyway, so that's what I'm doing today. And right now we're doing this thing called a fade effect, it looks like this. It's really pretty. It doesn't matter what colors you do, but we're doing black, green, and white because the pants I'm wearing, my trip pants, are black and uh, green, and my shirt has a lot of green on it. So we're doing green. Okay, but first, I had already started, but I guess the battery's dead or something. Do your eyeliner first. And what I do is it's thin and then it thickens out on mine because I just think it's a really cool thing. But next, take your black eyeshadow. I'm using Wet n Wild Mega Eyes. It's just black. My mom bought it for me and I just thought it was. It's better than nothing at all. So what you want to do is take a brush about this size. It doesn't have to be any bigger or any smaller. It can be any size that you want, really. You take some on your brush. What you want to do is start almost halfway and then just go out into the point. And you want to do it up so that way when you still have your eyes closed or, op or like open all the way, you can still see it poking out so everybody else can see it. And just shade it in. Just like that. The reason why I sound all eh, is because I'm sick right now. I'm still getting over it. It's almost gone. This one might turn out really good. Okay. Oh, I made a W. Ha 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 ha. That was lame. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting ready to go out, so I'm slightly hurrying. At the same time, he said he'd be here in half hour. My friends are dorks. And then if you got one, clean off all the black if you dropped any. Because you don't want to seem like you're turning colors. I'm not being racist. I promise. Then what you want to do is take your green, or whatever color you're using. It's just, it's by MAC, but my mom gave it to me. She doesn't use it. She doesn't use outstanding bright colors. She's not allowed to wear them at her job, I guess. And just take some green, just like that, and then put it about right here and just color that all in. And then bring it over. Oh. And bring it over into the black. Not completely covering it. You still need to be able to see black. But you need to be able to also tell that... Stop. That you faded it. And then I'm using white. Also by MAC. And again, just take the same amount, and then you put it in the corner, and fade into the green. I'm sorry if you can't see, I've got big hands. And I'm trying to be able to see in the mirror. And you should get... I need more black, actually. I was gonna... Oh, no, no. Uh, I did too much. I feel retarded giving this and giving you guys wrong advice. Kind of.
and keep enough black. I need a little more green. After all, sometimes you need to also go back and fix things. Yes, I've been doing this for a while, but everybody makes mistakes. Why well, have to make them on a the video? I don't know. Everything happens for a reason. They should get basically what looks like this. And I'm going to go back and touch up the black in a little bit, but I'm running out of time. But the first one is really good. And they basically look the same, but the black on this side is a little duller. And I'll just have, I'll go back and fix it in a few minutes. Um, and then get your mascara. I've got... Rymel, London. It's really good. And I like it a lot better than the other stuff I had. Ooh, I'm so hot. And then, just mascara your eyes, your eyelashes. know what I usually do? I should have done this first, but, well, before I put on the mascara, take a little bit of white and put it underneath your eyeliner. And so it does a fade effect into the middle of your eye. It brings your eye out a lot more. And then what I'm going to do, I just have tweezers, and I'm going to use these little rhinestones, and I got them from Pacatans. You can get them from anywhere you want to. It doesn't really matter. But I don't have glue, so I just use liquid eyeliner. And what I do is pick up the rhinestones, just like that take the liquid eyeliner and just put a little line on it. And stick it. And I'm using three. You could use however many you want. You can coat your entire eye with it. Although, I don't know how that would turn out. You can just put one. It doesn't really matter. I'm putting three. Because that's just how I am. And I think it's cute. So it looks like that. You can do it however way you want to. Like on this side, I put just liquid eyeliner, I put five little dots. But on this side, I put the three rhinestones. So it should turn out like that. And there's your fade effect. Like I said, you don't have to use green. You can use pink. You can use blue. You can use... You can actually just do it with two colors if you want. And do half and half. Like, I do that when I wear black and white clothes. I don't have any other colors, so I just do black and white. But, you know, like I said, you can do it with any color you want to. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I know I'm not very energetic like I was in my other one. Like... But like I said, I'm sick, and I'm still kind of tired. I haven't really eaten. Head fatigue. I'm really hot. Uh, so, yeah. And I'm sorry about that. 
if I make another one, then I should be more... <laughs> yeah, let's do this instead of... Okay. Let's do this. So, yeah. But I should have more videos up after this because my friend Steven and I are going to Walmart. That should be fun. So, yeah. I'm not sure what else. Oh, well. Have an amazing day and good luck with makeup. And if you want to, send me pictures, videos, anything with your new makeup style. Okay? Okay. Have a great day and a great life and all that other stuff. I'll see your comments later. Bye.